Hello, today I would like to present you this absolutely beautiful vintage digital bench top multimeter. It was made in GDR by that company called RFT. It's been called Digital Multimeter DM2020. And as you know, we've got a 2023, so it is a three years old. Of course, that was a joke. And it is sadly not auto ranging unit, but you can fully expect that from that age. But you've got a basic measurement that are required in any workshop and lab environment. We've got the volts, DC and AC. We've got the milliamp. We've got kilohertz. So it can measure frequency. And also we've got a ohm meter main selling point of that multimeter is this segment led display that is much more pleasant to watch than regular standard lcd and since it's glowing in dark it can go back in your bench but it is quite hard to read with all my studio lights so if you've got a lot of light this is not a very great option here we've got the power switch, the mode selector and frequency range. Here we've got the indication. On side we've got our banana input plugs. If you would like to use the ohm meter, then you are going to connect to those two and they are described RX. And if you would like to use the voltmeter and all other function that you are going to be using the high as positive and the bottom one low as negative and beside of that that is going to be just working your as your standard digital multimeter build quality is extremely well you can hear that it's made out of metal here we've got that stand that allow us to put it in a nice angle and as you can see I've got no problem operating those isostat with just my finger so absolutely no problem in having it far away on your desk and changing all settings absolutely good move I hate those new meter that are pretending bench top but they are extremely lightweight and you can just move them around here no way you have a heavy equipment on the back we've got information about the manufacturer we've got the berlin gdr so it is a vintage stuff we can try to power it on let's me grab my goal zero of course we are going to be using power bank because why not let me turn it on let me power meter on and as you can see we are in the kilo ohm range so let's go to the meter let's go into dc and we've got absolutely beautiful zeros now we are going to do some measurement i'm feeding it with around 17 volt and this is exactly what we've got and we've got the positive indicator if we swap our terminals and if we re reverse the high with low as you can see now we've got the negative sign so it's working absolutely beautiful as intended let's take a look at the m meter i'm currently around 120 milliamp that job we go to dc we zero it and let's take a look we've got 123 so as you can see they are working pretty close so i'm happy with that and let's quickly take a look at the kilo ohm which is our resistance as i told you we are going to be using those two banana inputs this is how looks our measurement where we are over the limit and if we are short our leads then yes of course we've got absolutely beautiful zeros on all ranges so let's take a look how quickly 
it respawned it's not the quickest one but it's pretty decent it is not the slowest one uh, let me present you the most absolutely beautiful thing about the device because it came from a good golden times when a right to repair was not a thing it was just a standard so that device was designed to be fixed and just take a look if we need to open it to make alignment or repair we just need a flathead screwdriver we go into those designated spots and we are prying the case off just take a look we just remove our case with just flat screwdriver now we are going to do exactly the same with the bottom half just take a look and now we remove the bottom part and this is what we've got inside this is quite interesting stuff looks like it was getting some kind of upgrade because that the laminate is extremely thin it is extremely interesting i never seen anything like that in my entire life but this is not something that i wanted to show you so you are the technician and you need to do some sort of work i would like to remind you that we remove zero screw to get into that point and now we are grabbing those four screw just like that and take a look at those elements because they are extremely important and you can grab your board and it go like this and here we've got some sort of a nylon element that is protecting it from going far away and this is what you've got you've got your device totally disassembled and if you need to replace virtually any component on the board level it is that easy just imagine that for example i would have to replace that capacitor so we go like this and now i've got access and i can remove it i can probe any ic and exactly the same thing with that part if i need to work on any element i need to probe anything then i've got access here so as you can see it is absolutely beautiful just take a look how back then they were thinking to incorporate those elements so you can make an easier job so you don't have to throw it away you are going to be working on it and they give you a nicer access so this is how it presents in my personal opinion absolutely beautiful that was extremely quick look at this beautiful vintage digital multimeter thank you very much for watching I hope you find that interesting. See you next time and bye bye.